What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy, Broken Elbow Darius. Very excited to be watching one of these OGs. I've wanted to watch Rurouni Kenshin for literally 15 plus years. Since it was one of the OG, OG, OGs, I wanted to watch Cowboy Bebop, Yu Yu Hakusho, Rurouni Kenshin, and Inuyasha. Those have been four of the most OG shows and Sailor Moon that I've wanted to watch for as long as I can think of. I am just now fortunate and glad the timing of this reboot, remake, remaster, whatever it is, is coming out right now. I have heard this should be very good. I have heard this should be very accurate to the manga. I know nothing about Rurouni Kenshin at all, literally nothing. So I'm going into this purely blind, very excited. If you guys don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. Consider checking out the Patreon if you guys want that in the future, early access, on exclusives, all that jazz. Other than that, don't forget to follow me on the social medias. Let's hop right on into it. Roni Kenshin, episode one. This one is called Himura Batosai. Starting off with someone, uh, Bakumatsu era. Is that what that just said? So definitely a samurai swordsmith era. No modernization. Feudalism, we should say. Ooh! No hesitation! They are not afraid to show some blood either. Okay, they are not afraid to kill people. I'm already loving this. Captain of the first unit of the Shinsengumi. There's something about unsheathing a sword so elegantly that just, mm, it does it does stuff to me. Captain of the third unit, Hajime Saito. Here I come. He, okay, I need to get all these names right now. 11th year of Meiji. Meiji era. Meiji period. Sword abolished an act. I knew that was a real thing in Japan, right? Well, they didn't allow anyone to carry swords. Unless you were obviously like a, uh, an actual samurai or like a peacekeeper, right? Ruroni. Like a wandering swordsman. Is that what Roni means? Reverse blade? Are we saying the backside is the sharp side? He's a Roroni. Why do we have a reverse sword? So somebody is straight murdering people. I recognize... Is that Knuckle from Hunter x Hunter? I recognize that voice actor. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. She is a reckless one. Mm. Not only is that horrible, but that's disrespectful and fucked up. So it has a very deep personal tie with her. That's an interesting concept for swords, you know? Damn. Oh, she definitely needs to put an end to him, you know? Especially that's her father's legacy. She's kind of spitting. Let her cook. I get her frustration. Animation is looking absolutely phenomenal right now. <laughs> Like, he has that little funny way of speaking, you know? The, that he doesn't. He said that multiple, you know, that we would. That he should, you know. I kind of like that. Maroni mm. is seen as a failure in life. Something tells me Maroni Kenshin is about to be insane. This is about to be a good-ass show. Yeah, normally you should be wandering, right? Who might that be? This guy told you 
This guy told you to not open up to a Roni, and she's just immediately doing it. Yeah, I'm hoping he's not... I'm hoping he's cool. Everyone's got a demon in their closet, you know. Yeah, I am very intrigued to get his backstory. I love his purple eyes. I want to know why he's a Raruni star, you know. So far, she has a very kind heart. Yeah, he's got thick skin. That didn't bother him. That you shouldn't. <laughs> I am curious as well. Something tells me he wants to either check on old dude or stop, yeah, uh, Batsusai. That's what he's still doing in town. Shout out my boy. あとはお前の夏に一つ。それでこの土地屋敷は私らのものとなる。よ。お前は。ヒルマ course he's your little brother. Just horrible. Horrible. Wait, wait, what did he just say? Using the Hitokiri Bato size name work, which something tells me that's our main character, but I could be mistaken. Hmm, I'm so curious. So he's six and a half feet? What are the other people? Like two feet tall? <laughs> Legitimately. I would be very, very upset if she dies. I cannot lie to you. Oh! There's the blood stamp. Yeah, he already dealt with all your fucking... Oh. Yeah, he's dead. I was about to say, he already dealt with all your lackeys. Swords are weapons. Swords take lives. Ooh! Ooh! He does. Ooh. <laughs> that's a that's a bar. This is not reality in the world we live in, but I would much rather have her world. Literally, I would much rather have her world be the reality. Hey. Hey, he's uh he's forthcoming. He's honorable. And you see how he said go see a doctor, not as in like he's gonna kill you. You know? Like he's using the dull side, the non-sharp side. What is this? A Ooh. Oh, he's fast like that. He said reaction time, processing time, just normal speed time. One versus many. Oh, shit. Yeah, so he's saying... Wait, so are we saying the swordsmith, the sword style of... um. But whatever is from one from a long time ago that excels in one versus many. And if he wasn't using a like a a reverse sword, like basically nerfing himself, he would have murdered all those guys in an instant. Itokiri Batosai. I love the dark oh, the dark lines on there. Ooh. Like, he wasn't lying. If he used the other side or a different blade, he would have killed all these guys. Chop his head off. Ooh, I would love it. He's not going to do that. I don't think he's this kind of show. But he, he made him piss himself. You can tell. It's the demon in his closet. It's his past that he's trying to avoid, you know? Is she going to be a part of our main squad? 
I get what he's saying. He only brings bad news, you know? Yes, please. So is the Hitokiri Batosai like a title? Is your past warrior name? They have warrior names? That's a thing? I didn't even know that. I was wondering if the Hitokiri Batosai was a title. Kenshin? Kenshin, Rurouni Kenshin. Now it's making all sense. Imura Kenshin. Imura Kenshin. That I will. Again, I love the way he talks. Yeah. Is this the ending we're gonna get now? So I do need to know more details. How old is he? His backstory? Ooh. Damn, now there's something like deep inside of me that kind of wants to go back to the OG version and kind of watch it just to compare, you know, and then read the manga just to compare again. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed that first episode. Himura Batosai was his warrior name or the Hitokiri Batosai. But the neighboring dojo leader, aka old man's younger brother, took up the warrior name Himura Batosai to then spread uh, the bad name and tarnish the name of the Kamiya sword style you know which i love that her father's ties to that he invented that that gave me like god of high school uh whatever her name is vibes from that which i anything that your family helped cultivate that you want to protect and, and cherish not only because they cultivated but it's sort of your connection to them they're no longer a part of this world you know and i hate the way he died to uh her dad how he wanted to make a sword style that was anti-violence give life and then he was forced to go out on the front lines and died in a war in the furthest place from where he you know like very sad but thoroughly enjoying her character so far i'm really liking the animation and the swordness of it there's something about your character being a swordsman that just hits like a zoro a miha you know it's just, it goes so crazy I know, swords are amazing in anime swords are uh and I just love the uh, feudal period storytelling in general. I would love if you guys don't mind, if you guys could give me just like some plot overview. Like you don't have to specifically use years, but if you could, that'd be great. Like when does the Meiji era take place? When does the Bakamatsu, whatever he said, era take place? Give me a time difference. Give me a like this is taking place like 1100 era Japan. Is this no? Because I, I think I saw a train or it would be more like what? late 1800s early 1900s like steam pot I, I don't know because they were talking about the western i'm assuming this was industrial revolution so 1920s maybe 1930s 40s 50s, i don't even know i'm curious but overall thoroughly enjoyed hopefully you guys did as well if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe check out that patreon all that jazz don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out